Got one. Got to get him up over that brush. Coming at me fast. What's going on folks? My name is Josh. You guys are watching The Outdoor Dude. Thanks for coming back to the channel. In today's video, guys, we're going over some great baits that I got in this month's mystery tackle box that are just perfect for August fishing. So let's go. For those of you who do not know, Mystery Tackle Box is a monthly subscription service that sends awesome lures to your house every month. You can get multiple tier level boxes. You can get them for trout. You can get them walleye. You can get them for bass. You can get these boxes for a whole bunch of different stuff. These boxes are coming absolutely loaded with great baits for you guys every single month. Turn yourselves on to new techniques, new baits, new companies, and all sorts of stuff that you might not have known existed. Get yourself a Mystery Tackle Box. If you guys like any of the baits that you've seen in today's video and you want to get yourself a mystery tackle box and i definitely think you should you can use code outdoor dude all one word in checkout new customers only link in the description let's get to the video there it goes. getting used to the new tackle bag there they are need my pliers and my scissors we're doing mystery tackle box work tonight so we do not need most of this tackle most of my jigs and all that stuff can go for now all these swim baits they can go we're cutting weight all right so first things first we're going to start off with the spinner bait we're going to put the smattest baits swim bait on there as a trailer i've already got a gookin squad half ounce thick jig tied up trailer's gone bad on it so i'll throw this vile craw on there as a trailer i've yet to use this but these things are supposed to be pretty dang sweet we're gonna get out there with three different baits from the box, two different setups, and we're gonna just get tossing some baits around, get moving and try to find these fish. It's been super, super hot. It is August fishing in a nutshell. All right, so this particular spinner bait is from Phoenix Baits. It's got a little bit of a lead bait keeper on there. It's not a hand tight skirt, but it's a thin skirt. Sometimes that's that action they're looking for. That thin skirt moves a little bit differently than the thick skirt. It comes in this package, so it's a little bit bent. You may have to tune it just to tad bit but that wire feels super strong jig heads nice and thin gonna come through that grass and this has a double willow blade on there hopefully we can uh, make something happen with this spinner bait here it is a 3 8 ounce phoenix shore master 10 percent off one time code for phoenix baits so not only does it come with the bait, but it comes with a code for their website for 10% off. Folks that gets one of these in your box, you can use this, use that coupon code to go get yourself some more. Tying this here spinnerbait on. Fish are gonna pull you into that thick grass this time of year. It's important to get that, that knot tied down right. I'll leave a nice tag end. They're not gonna worry about that. All right, let's put one of these somatis baits on there. I've used these before. In fact, I've gotten them in a mystery tackle box before. I think I might trim off just the tip of this so it sits a little more flush with this spinner bait. I'm going to do that so it also not only sits flush with this bait keeper, but it's going to sit flush against that skirt a little bit better, help it flare out a little bit wider. Now, if I did that straight, it would push that bad boy right on there like that. That plastic sits flush against that skirt like so. And now we got a nice little trailer for that. Adjust the brake on this rod for this bait and we are golden bait setup number one a lot of bluegill a lot of crappie cleaner water this should be a pretty sweet setup all right next up i've got this googan squad thick jig that i've been fishing on here this googan squad thick jig is a pretty bad jig really 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 stout hook on this jig super thick weed guard it's got two different strength plastics in that weed guard so this it's a it's just a really 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 great jig really well thought out really good jig we're gonna pair that bad boy up with this vile craw this particular color is they call it sprayed grass but as with all bio spawn plastics this thing is uh loaded up with scent smells awesome and we're going to put this bad boy right on this here jig but we're gonna push somebody's cracking them off we're gonna push that guy through just a tad more there we go we got that on there pretty good little it's a little bunched up but i don't think that's gonna make a difference we're gonna break those apart get a lot of action out of this thing i think this is gonna be a really good color combo that looks awesome okay oh shoot what am i doing i need my bag excuse the mess Ugh. all right guys we are ready to go we got two rod setups for the baits we're gonna start just casting around been coming to this spot on the canal quite a bit because it's just such a target rich environment it really sets up the way i like to fish let's buzz the top of this grass we'll see how she runs now it's the one thing about spinner baits guys you can really tune these baits to the way you want them it doesn't always have to be the way it comes i like to tweak them get them to run a little faster sometimes i get hammered and you gotta you know you catch 15 20 fish on one you're gonna have to tune it all right we're just gonna move keep moving keep moving 
finger paint is usually my juice, guys. Unless I'm like in a boat, able to look right down on them in the grass. It's always been really hard. But what these boxes are about, not only are you trying new baits and new techniques, but they they set them up well for your area and for uh, what'll work well that time of year based on what information you gave them when you ordered the box. You know, you check fresh water, ponds, and you're gonna get a lot of, got one. Oh no. I got a hit. But you're gonna get like a lot of baits that are gonna be great for smaller bodies of water. Let's see if we can get in there and get that fish. One more. Oh, he's just too little. He's not getting the hook. It could be a rock bath. Been like 98 degrees, 96, 97, I think they said. It's been super hot around here, man. They try to take off, get away from the sun. Sure it'd be nice to catch a bass. I'm getting chewed up, dude. Bait fishing is tough, man. You gotta be really strategic about where you decide to spend all your time. It can literally make you or break you. Okay, we gotta make moves, folks. Okay. So I have been avoiding this spot for a while just because of how pressured it is how clear it is it's been pretty tough to fish anything uh power fishing in this pond i did fish it out doing some like micro fishing and stuff like that if you haven't seen that video check the link in the info card up here it's been tough to fish power fishing setups we're gonna try to make something happen today it's a little clean but your double willow blades are really they're a lot better for cleaner water especially in areas where the forage are really small these blades look like tiny bait fish swimming along with a bigger one after that storm went through, we got clouds out still. Little chop on the water. Let's get to fishing. Let's hope, hoping for the best here. Definitely just spooked a bunch of bluegill. Couple grass beds to the left and to the right here. Gonna kind of flip these spots a little bit. Well, something just got me. Dang, guess I gotta pick get another trailer lost my trailer and then i lost my bag of trailers give me a minute but i found them four more total yep some one of them bastards got my tail and we are back folks so i shortened up the trailer a little bit the bait in this pond they're not that big this trailer is kind of stiff it really doesn't have an absolute ton of action so i'm not a worried about it really interfering with the skirt but what i don't want is them to short strike it like that that tends to happen in cleaner water and that's a sign that you're not moving fast enough. And it seems counterintuitive. A lot of guys would think you gotta slow down if they're short striking because they didn't get the bait. But that's it's not the case. These fish, uh, they could swim far faster than you realize. If they want it, they'll go for it. This water's really clean, so you gotta move fast. Best friend fishing one of these is gonna be to get the blades turning as soon as this thing hits the water. Got one. There he is. Best fish I've caught in this pond all year. And he's pulling me deep. Right into the grass. Oh buddy, you're coming up. Yes. Yes. This pond, oh, has actually been kind of tough for me this year. Thank you, Mystery Tackle Box. <sighs> wow, there's another couple fish right with him right there. There's a whole school. That was some good bass, dude. Oh, he's blind. Hey, buddy. Yes. This pond isn't going to produce giant fish, but I'm just stoked to be catching them, guys. Post frontal, catching them on moving baits. Let's go. fish wasn't very big but he fought wicked hard haven't come to this pond in a while because of the pressure but also because the mosquitoes have just been unbearably bad around here lately but uh this wind little wind has them at bay today well that weather changed quick and just like that the shade and clouds that enabled me to get a spinnerbait bite are gone 
whole pond is exposed to sun now. Probably not gonna get any luck on this spinner bait here, but we're gonna try this last little shadow. These fish, once they get super bright out like this, these fish are trying to find cover of some sort. Whether it's up in the shallow in the shade like this, or they're way out deep. Either way, like a flipping pitching jig, structure jig, something like this Guggen Squat Thick jig is gonna be a great, great option for the unknown underneath. When we're bank fishing, we don't know, especially if you're somewhere new, you don't know what the heck's down there, man. All right, switching spots. Let's see if we can get a bite right here. Got a little cheese mat. Oh! Wow, I didn't see that coming. Holy crap. Did not see that coming. Did he throw my trailer? I think he did throw my trailer. Nope, nope, nope. Listen, buddy. Some went flying. Yes, yes. All right, that's what we're talking about, guys. He came right up from the deep, right in front of me, right off the bank. I was bringing it in. Right in the roof of the mouth, right where you want it. Yep, I lost one of my pinchers. He hammered that bait, dude. <laughs> so we're gonna let this little guy go. Thank you, little buddy. Ah, sweet smell of bass. LFG's onto the right thing, man. Look at this little guy. See you later, buddy. Thanks for the fight. I have no idea what this looks like up here. Looking a little cloudier. Cool. Man, this might work. This might work. Well, let's get to casting. Oh, what happened there? Oh, okay. Phew. Super busy spot. Usually these spots real close to the metropolis areas are uh, not that great, but it's all right. We're just hoping we just want one or two more fish, man. I am not greedy. Oh, I just got a hit. Shopping cart down there. There's a whole bunch of trash in this place. It's unfortunate. Big, good fish. Just a little fella. But it is another fish. Sweet. Had a feeling we'd be able to get at least one more. Oh, oh, he's gone. And he's gone. Quick release. Mm. Now fish just live here. Huh? Gotta be something in there. Get him up over that brush. Coming at me fast. There he goes. Yeah, buddy. Now that's a fast jig fish right there. There's a good one. Come up over that brush. Yes. Right in the roof of the mouth, right where you want it. Sometimes you gotta throw that jig into the thick stuff, man. Look at that fish. Awesome, awesome, awesome.